Hello again, it's Dana from the James C. Brown Library and I'm back with a fun craft that we recently did as an adult DIY and we had a few supplies left so I thought I would share it with all of you. We are going to make some tile coasters by using Mod Podge as a decoupage technique. So the first thing you'll want to do is find some tiles. We like to get ours at the um, Habitat for Humanity Restore. They're very inexpensive and you can often find fun shapes, but you can also use square tiles from the hardware store. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, get whatever size you like. This is a nice four inch one, so it's good for a cup or a mug. And you will need to get some felt feet. We got these at the dollar store. You'll need some Mod Podge. You can actually get small bottles inexpensively at the dollar store. And you'll need some sort of decorative paper. So if you have extra scrapbook paper, that's a great thing to do. And then the, fir the first thing you'll wanna do, oops, is figure out the shape of your tile. And you'll wanna trace it with a pencil. And I like to start in a corner so then there's one edge I don't have to cut. And you'll want to cut on the inside of the lines that you drew. And the reason I say that is because you do want there to be a little bit of a white space where you can see the tile. Otherwise, the paper will hang over and the Mod Podge or glue will not attach itself properly and it will get a little funky. So put, all, put your template on and you may have to trim it up just a little bit to get the spaces you want. And I just need to trim up this one side a little bit. And if you use a design, it's nice to follow along with the existing pattern. That often helps. So I know it's hard to see, but there is a tiny bit of the beige tile showing through. And I'm using a piece of cardboard from a box just so I don't accidentally glue my tabletop. And then you'll want to wash and clean your tiles first. And then put a generous layer of Mod Podge on. And this is a project that is done outdoors or you know in a space where you're not going to need the table for a while because it will take several coats and it does take about 20 to 30 minutes to in between each coat before you can reapply and if you have something hard like a library card or a gift card you'll want to smooth out any bubbles and then once you have a nice smooth surface Go ahead and generously coat it again with the Mod Podge. And you want to take care to get it over the edges so that the paper does not come up. And what you'll notice is that certain patterns tend to work better. So the first time we were using dark patterns and you can see that we were wiping away the ink. And so we can easily fix those by going over it. That's the fun part of decoupage is it's just layers and layers of paper or napkins or things that can add a different pattern to it. So I can fix those and I probably will just to show you how you can fix some mistakes. You can use one piece of paper as your whole thing or you can do um, some decorative shapes or patterns and do a different one for each layer. That is completely up to you. So I have my first coat done and I'm going to wait 20 minutes, wash my brush because it is a glue so I do want to keep my brush clean and then I'll come back and show you how to apply the, the next coat and I'll probably do it on one of these. Hello, welcome back. And as you can see, I've been busy at work applying my next coats of Mod Podge to the various coasters. 
And if you recall, I had some coasters that I wasn't pleased with how they came out. So I cut scraps of paper and I just kept applying them in random patterns just to kind of cover up my imperfections. So that way they wouldn't be so obvious. And I applied three to five coats and waited 20 minutes in between each coat. And so this is my final tile. I was going to keep it kind of plain just to, because I liked it that way. And so now I'm going to put on my feet. And like I said, you can get these packs inexpensively at the dollar store. And you just want to stick them in the corners. You can put however many you like, it doesn't matter, but do try to make it so they don't go over the edge of the tile. Put one there. And here, why not? Right in the middle. And then you are all done. Now there is one thing to note. Um, Mod Podge itself is not a waterproof sealant. So if you are going to use these for coasters and use hot tea or things like that, you will want to put a spray acrylic spray paint over it so that way it does provide that extra layer of protection. And um, I, I have a clear gloss when I use at home all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these all home, go outside, put a couple coats of the clear gloss on, wait for that to dry overnight, and then they are ready to be given away as gifts or kept for yourself for whatever you like. Um, one thing I do like about this project is you don't have to be limited to just small tiles. You can use larger tiles and use it as a trivet or a centerpiece for candles, things like that. So be creative and let your mind wander. And you know, if you have any questions about upcoming crafts and things to do, we have tons of crafting books available here at the library. So see what you can make and let me know what you've done in the comments and see you next week. Thanks. Bye.